Whatever you call it, one thing is certain. Maine's black bears are coming out of their winter stupor and they are hungry. However, there's a problem. The warmer weather is telling them it's time to get up, but there may not be enough food for them to eat. And as News in Maine's David Guildford shows us in our continuing series on Maine's changing climate, it's a trend that's bound to continue. It's largely felt like spring for some time now, which could mean an early alarm for Maine's favorite omnivores. I know I'm always so hesitant to say like they're cute, but <laughs> they are, yeah. Maine's robust population of 25 to 30,000 black bears typically hibernates from November to sometime in April. State black bear biologist Caitlin Drasher is monitoring whose rest is ending early. In New England this spring, um, we had a really mild winter and an early spring. So across the region, we're seeing bears wake up a little bit earlier um, and start looking around for food. Bears are pretty much the coolest animal in the state and anyone that uh, has ever seen or witnessed them would probably attest to that. UMaine's top wildlife ecology professor, Lindsay Seward, explained, as climate change evolves, unpredictable seasons could provide a bountiful fall one year, encouraging bears to go into hibernation later, or create a false spring, waking the bears when there isn't yet enough food. There's no food available to them, so they might be more likely to find, you know, bird feeders and, and, and trash. I'm not suggesting there'll be more human bear conflicts, but that is a possibility that they wake up and there's no food. The good news long term, as I said, they're omnivores. Even if climate change forces some of their food sources to migrate over time, as it stands now, they still have a buffet full of options. You know, they're eating ants, they're eating raspberries, they're eating acorns um, and, and able to exploit those foods. So I, I think, yes, bears are resilient to to some of these changes. But a few shrinking winters in a row would mean less hibernation on average. These biologists are watching for any impacts if that trend continues. As for now, they want us to take in bird feeders and secure trash early rather than late. It's a really special thing when you see a black bear in its natural environment in the woods and not in our backyards. David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Now, while black bears are less aggressive than their grizzly cousins, Drasher says it's important to still remove those backyard items like trash and the bird feeders before a bear wanders in. That's because it's much harder to deal with a bear after it's gotten a food reward in a particular location.